What do you say, Judy? We'll go, huh? Oh, you're scared. Why, it's the best job we've ever had. Yeah, they're all good. Until you wake up and find yourself in a cell. Oh, Judy. Don't be a quitter. Come on, what do you say? Let's dance. Come on, Judy. Say you'll come. We can't miss. Why, this will put us on easy street. Crooked streets are never easy streets. Can't you see what it means to me, honey? I'm, I feel safe with you. I... <laughs> Just a good luck charm to you, Terry, that's all. A mascot. And one breath you tell me that you love me, that you do anything I'd ask. And then the next you say that with me as your lookout, it's a cinch. Well, if you feel that way, Terry, why don't you listen to me? Go straight. What do we have when it's all done? Criminal record. Perhaps the end of the trail for you. For me. Maybe the chair. Who knows? Can't you see where it will all end? For both of us. I couldn't quit if I wanted to, honey. You know that. If I left Doc in the lurch, well, you know what that will mean. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Ellis. Anything wrong? Nothing that you know anything about. Ellis! Jimmy, Ellis, Scram. Wait a minute. You're not going anyplace. What's the idea? Come on. Say, why the rap? I ain't done nothing. What's the matter? You ain't got nothing on me. Go ahead. I'm on. Come on, honey. Snap out of it. Who'd you say he was? Ellis. Headquarters. I know him. He sent Bob over his stretch. Oh, I was afraid he was coming. For me? Don't be silly. When Bob was caught, he didn't have the duck on his side. He's smart. That's why I'm telling you we can't lose. Now, honey, we haven't any time to waste. Make up your mind. Are you coming with me or not? No. Not with you, Terry. You don't love me enough to listen to me. You go your way and I'll travel alone. But I'll travel straight. I couldn't go any other way. No matter how much I love the man. Not worth it. Okay. So long. If you pull this job, Terry, it won't be so long. It's goodbye. Later. 
Bye. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. I know you'd come through. I guess I'm silly. Maybe it's love. But I've got a feeling just the same that you shouldn't go. You ought to go back now and tell Doc to do his own dirty work. Oh, I can't. What do you mean, no luck? It's a wonder you weren't caught. I wish he had been. You wish you'd been caught? Why? Judy, you didn't mean that. Come on, kid, you're nervous. You're all shot. It's over now. We had a close call. It's okay. Forget about it. I did mean it. Meant every word. I wish we'd both been caught. Thieves. Go ahead, Terry. Tell Doc what you promised me. Tell him you're through. Both of us. Through? With me? You? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm through. If you two want to wind up in the big house, you can. But I'm not with you. I'm all washed up. Maybe she's right. Judy! Let me in, kid. I want to talk to you. Please let me in.
Show me. Do you hear me? Gee, honey, I'll do anything you want me to. You know I will. Well, I'm sorry, Terry. I can't help it. Tonight made me realize we're both heading for the same place Bob got out of a few months ago. That we'll end up in the same spot sooner or later. Every 30 days reporting to a parole officer, and perhaps they wouldn't even give us that chance. Oh, I can't stand the thought of it any longer. Oh, I know. I'll tell Doc we're quitting. We're going straight. Huh? After the next job, why, uh... Oh. You're not giving me the air, are you? All along, Terry, I've loved you. I've always thought that I could stop you. But it's no use. I'm a woman, Terry. I want something in life besides the number. And I'm going to have it. Yeah? Well, where do you think you're going to get away from everything? At Peggy's and Bob's. Oh, please, Terry. Please tell Doc you're through. Get a job and be a man. Come on, come on, sit down and don't worry about it. Have you changed your mind, Terry? Coming with me, or are you saying good morning, Judge? Nuts. <coughs> it's not so easy to be a quitter. Walk out on Doc. No, it's easier for me to be the quitter. You've got me wrong. I've got you right. I know how much I mean to you. They slice it thin, but it's still baloney. Well, if you change your mind, Terry, you know where you can find me. Oh, I've got a nice little supper, and only two of us to eat it. Where are you going? He knows where I'll be. They're all alike. Sit down. She'll come back. They all do. You know, you can live without love, but you can't live without food. Didn't I tell you she'd come back? <laughs> oh, sit down. I let her in.
prospecting company? Sure. You're apt to drop in at any time. Sit down. Thank you. I don't think I ever met the young man. Oh, my brother's boy. Been going to school. What kind of a pupil is he, Professor? About ready to graduate? What's the matter, kid? Are you nervous? I'm all right. Something go wrong tonight? Oh, by the way, where were you tonight? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You have nothing on him. He has an airtight alibi. He was with his girl. She left here ten minutes ago. That's fine. I guess I'll have to find the girl. Oh, by the way, what's her name? Mary. Mary what? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. He was just fishing. Jerry was right. I should have listened to her. They've got me spotted. She had a hunch for me not to go on that job tonight. What'll I do? Get out of town. Lay low. Take Judy's advice. Go straight. Let him go on fishing. But, uh, don't give him any bait. By the way, uh, where did Judy say that she was going? Riverdale. So long. So long. Suck it. milk and mix well. One egg and beat it thoroughly. That's what you should have done. Taking that egg and beating him thoroughly until you knock some sense in his head. Ah, oh, don't blame Terry Peg. He's not a bad kid at heart. It stops influence over him. Well, I'm glad Bob learned his lesson. He wouldn't go back to the old life for all the money in the world. You're happy, aren't you? Happy? You can't imagine what it means not to have to worry every time you pass a cop on the street. Bob's got a good job now. Only a few days more to go on his parole. Oh, darling. Well, that's him now. Hello, Judy. Hello, Bob. Oh. oh, boy. Have I got something for my little mama? Hold out your hand. Close your eyes. Uh, don't worry. I got it on the level. I got it for a tip. You know that rich guy Henderson? He got back from Europe today. Can you imagine that guy give me five dollars for a tip? <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. There. Spend it all on yourself. I got something for you too, kid. Oh, Bob, you shouldn't. You've done enough for me. Oh, it isn't much, but I think you'll like it. What is it? Where is it? 
I left in the living room. Oh, bring it in, Bob. Let me see it. Say, who was your servant last year? Go on, get it yourself. <laughs> oh, Terry. Judy. Oh, honey. Oh, gee, Terry. I knew you'd do it. I just knew it. Well, you didn't think I wouldn't, did you, baby? Oh, not for a minute. <laughs> Gee, I missed you, honey. Oh, and I missed you, too. Gee, this is a nice joint. Isn't it, darling? Oh, they're so happy here, Terry. Just like you and I are going to be. Yeah? But we're going to have a bigger place. Well, I think this is real sweet. And it will be plenty big enough for us. No. Where would we put the kids? Kids? Sure. If we had them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go call Peg. All right. Say, Peg, there's somebody at the front door. Oh, go on. Oh, thanks. I'll finish that. Mm. Hey, Judy, can I have the bowl when you get through? No. Hello, Terry. Gee, you're a lucky guy. Yeah? Maybe it's my good looks. <laughs> I wonder who it is. Why don't you pay your bills? Oh, uh, you're not at home now. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Ellis. Ellis. Happy New Year. How are you two getting along? Uh, fine, Mr. Ellis. We couldn't have been getting along any better. Uh, why? Nothing. Your parole will be up in a short time, won't it? Uh, yes. Uh, Thirty days more and we'll be square with the world. It'd be kind of tough if you lost your parole now, wouldn't it? What do you mean? He's been going straight? Sure. You can check up on me. I have. And you're all right. But I don't like the company you're keeping. You've got nothing on me. I didn't say that I did. But the fellow that introduced us kind of made me want to know you better. <gasps> don't say that I didn't warn you. I'm apt to drop in on you most any time. I haven't met your girlfriend yet. You know, uh, Merry Christmas. Come on, Terry. We're getting out of here. We're not going to ruin their chances. Okay. You don't have to do that. You're not in on anything. Sure. He didn't have anything on Terry. Judy, on the level, has Terry done anything? Oh, you poor kid. Listen, pal. Don't steer me wrong. Give me the lowdown. Are you hot? 
Yeah. But we understand. We're leaving. We wouldn't put you in wrong for a million. Judy, what do you say? Let's go. Come on, hurry up. Y'all ready? Well, let's go. You're not very enthusiastic about my presence. We might have been if Ellis hadn't just left. Yeah, we got a blow. Bob's got 30 days to go on his parole. And if Ellis comes back here and finds you here... Curtains for me. Good behavior don't count for nothing, then. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Nice place. I like it. I think I'll stick around. You're not staying, Doc. Oh. You want me to go? All right. But you two will go with me. You win, Doc. We'll go. Okay. We're on our way. Doc! I'm sorry. Don't be silly. <laughs> Get away from that window. We just don't seem to be able to make the grade, do we, honey? Nope. What's the next move? We can't go back to town. Well, we can't stay here.
But where do we go from here, Doc? You were right. We'll have to quit. It won't do. The three of us. Here. On the level, Doc. You're saying quit? Yeah. You had the right idea. Terry and I will remain undercover for a while. If I go back to town, Terry, I'll be missing you. I'll be wondering what you're doing and what you're up to. to. Oh. Don't go back to town. You're better off here. And uh, Terry won't be so lonesome. Well, it might not be so easy for me to get a job here. Someone might ask for references. Oh, that's all you're worried about. I think I can help you. Will you, Doc? Will I? You know I will. By the way, has the new governess arrived yet? She's in the study with Master Buddy. Fine. Does the boy seem to like her? <laughs> he should, sir. Who taught you such manners? He didn't learn that from me. Daddy! Hi, son. Well, you haven't introduced me to the young lady yet. Oh, Miss Marsh, this is my father. Daddy, this is Judy. I like her, don't you? Why, yes. Yes, of course. How do you do, Miss Marsh? How do you do? Now, you run along, buddy. And will you please remove the New York Central? Here, I'll take the card. You take the... Oh. <laughs> All aboard. I've got a better frame than this. In my house. I mean, in my room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll show it to you. Oh, fine. Come on, Judy, and don't break the track. <laughs> All right. This is my room, and Daddy has his own room, too. Oh, how nice. Mm -hmm. There you are. Tell him 3249. Oh, I got the job. Wonderful. Yes, he's cute. No, he's only six. Yeah? What did she say? She got it? You bet she did. Boy, ain't that something. I'll say it is. That's great. Aren't you going to play with me anymore? Right now. I've got to go, Terry. The boy wants me. Okay, but this boy wants you too, you know. And don't forget, I'm going to see you tonight. All right, Terry. Goodbye. Okay, so long. That was swell of you to get that job for her, Doc. She sure is happy about it. Yeah. Not any more than I am. Uh, yes, it is. It's 8 o'clock. All right, Daddy. Well, it's 8 o'clock. Time for little men to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll see you in the morning. You bet you will. Bright and early. Nighty night. Yes, night.
A gentleman, sir. He didn't give me his card. Said it was a personal matter, sir. Show him in. Yes, sir. If you please. I'm sorry to intrude at this hour, Mr. Henderson, but I'm Ellis from the detective headquarters. Won't you sit down, Mr. Ellis? Thanks. You just got back from Europe a short time ago, didn't you, Mr. Anderson? Why, yes. And you cleared uh, the customs with your wife's, pardon me, your former wife's jewelry. Yes, why? And you've got them in a safety deposit box. No, on the contrary, I have my own vault here. That's quite safe enough for me. Well, it might be under ordinary conditions. But I happen to know that there's a mob of jewelry thieves who've disappeared from the city and are now operating in this suburb. That doesn't worry me, Mr. Ellis. If you step in here, I'll show you why. You lie down there. <laughs> And tomorrow we'll play fireman and horsey and anything you like. Huh? All right. Good night, Judy. Good night, honey. Go to sleep like a good boy. All right. See, I really have nothing to worry about. I wouldn't be so sure, Mr. Henderson. Oh, I beg your pardon. My boy's governess, Miss Marsh. Mr. Ellis. How do you do? How do you do? How is the little fellow? In bed and asleep? Almost. Well, that's fine. And I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night, Mr. Henderson. Good night, Miss Marsh. Mr. Ellis. Good night, Miss Marsh. Good night. Mary. Merry Christmas. What did you say? Oh, nothing. That was just an expression of mine. Now, Mr. Henderson, I don't want you to take offense at what I'm going to say. Certainly not. Go ahead. Then we'll never have to worry anymore. And we can all get out. And you can take Judy and get married in less than a week. Oh, that's it. Well, I am a dumbbell. That's why you pulled the wires and got her into Henderson's. <laughs> well, I am a sap. Took you a long time to plan it out. Well, under the circumstances, I can't very well do anything but agree. Then it's all understood. And after it's over, I'll phone you. And tomorrow night, then. Yes, but, uh... Don't worry. And remember, no one is to know. Not even the governess. Oh, don't do that. You make me nervous. Oh, yeah? Say, that guy Henderson get... No. Not what you think. Lose the job? No. 
But I may tomorrow. Why? Ellis. There? Hmm. What'd he say? Nothing. I don't think he knew me. Well, then, everything is okay. Then we can go ahead. Sure. Go ahead with what? You wouldn't understand. It's just a little something between us. You two framing something. I know. The Henderson home. Oh, I see. You'd help me go straight. After all that you've promised, all that you've told me, what does it mean? Nothing. Ah, uh, Terry, it's no use. You just can't see that there is a right way. Ah, quit your preaching. It's going straight stuff. What'll it get you? If Ellis ever closed in on you, he'll nail you. Yeah. Between two thieves. Oh, Judy. Kid. I'm sorry. I won't go through with it. Believe me. I understand, Terry. I know now that I don't have to worry. Why, of course, Judy. We were only kidding you. You don't think that we do a thing like that, do you? Why? We're all going straight, aren't we? What you do or what you say doesn't make a bit of difference to me. But you, Terry, I have your word. I promise, honey. Judy, the movies tomorrow night? Sure. Okay. Why is Daddy going away? I don't know. He didn't tell me. But he'll be back in the morning. Are you going away too? Nope. I'm staying here with you. That's good. <laughs> Ah. Are you sure that everything will be all right? Don't worry. I won't leave the house for a minute. Just the same, I'd feel better if I had Buddy and his governess with me. In the morning, you'll see that I'm right. Leave them both alone. I'm sure that you're wrong. Tonight, we'll prove it. I'll say goodnight to Buddy. You'll soon be in bed, won't you? What do you want Daddy to bring you from town? An aeroplane or another train? An aeroplane, Daddy. You'll have it tomorrow. You're not afraid to stay here alone tonight? Why, no. Why should I? Oh, of course not. You'll be all right. Good night and thank you. Good night. Good night, Good night, Daddy. Be a good boy. Mr. Henderson, you left your gloves. Oh, thank you. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night.
poem 3249. No, poem 3249. Hello, Terry. Oh, hello, Judy. No, no, this is Duff. Yeah, I'll call him. Or Terry. Hello? Our date's off. Yes, I have to stay here overnight. Mr. Henderson's gone out of town. I'm all alone. All right. Good night. Well. What's wrong? Judy's busted her date with me. Says if Henderson had to go out of town. Out of town? She's staying overnight. Ooh, but that's an old one. And you fall for it. <laughs> what do you mean by that crack? Listen. Lay down your hand. What are you going to do? Make a sap out of yourself for a woman? I knew she'd do it sooner or later. But I didn't think she'd pull it so soon. You're all wrong, Doc. Judy wouldn't play me that way. Oh, no? Hmm. She's just going to stay all night. And Mr. Henderson is out of town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop that laughing! I'll go out and I'll prove it. Well, now you're talking, kid. You wait a while, and I'll go with you. Take it easy, kid. Take it easy. Come on, we're getting out of here. Oh, no, we're not. You go ahead and look for your lost love. Listen to me. Huh? You're not going to turn me against her. 
We're both leaving here right now. Be yourself. Be yourself. I've got a job to do, and I'm going to do it. Oh, no, you're not. Huh? I'm not going to let you pull a job and get her in a jam. Not if I have to. I'm not going to let you do it. You hear me? I'm not going to let you do it. Oh, Terry. And after I believed you were going straight. I am, honey. Believe me. I never meant it more in all my life. You go straight. You liar. What are you doing here? Oh, honey. Double-crossing little rat. You told us you were alone. You lay a hand on her and I'll break every bone in your rotten body. Now get out of here. Get out quick. <laughs>
in their police headquarters. Warren, this is Ellis. Get the medical examiner over to Henderson's house right away. Yeah, the doc. You know him. A jewelry robbery. What's that? No, it was a lone job. No one was with him. Mm-hmm. So long. He didn't do it. I did it myself. He had it coming to him. You two scrams. 